Let's look at how we do loan amortization on the HP 12C financial calculator. Now, loan amortization shows you how your payment for a loan is divided between interest and principal. And what I did is I created um, an Excel spreadsheet that actually lays this out. I find that um, uh, a spreadsheet version is actually nicer than the calculator, but it, you know, in certain cases you're going to need to do it without a spreadsheet available. So what I've done here is I've taken a loan amount of 200,000 or a mortgage of 200,000 for 30 years. And it has an APR of 6% and I've worked out the payment to be $1,199.10. And I'll do that in the financial calculator in a minute. So you can see here the beginning balance of the loan is 200,000. The payment is 1199.10 that we worked out. Interest for the first month is half a percent, six percent divided by 12, and half a percent of 200,000 is a thousand. Pretty easy to do. That's why I like this example. And you can see that of the payment of 1199.10, thousand goes to interest, and the rest goes to principal. So the remaining balance is um, 199,800 dollars and ninety cents or two hundred thousand minus this principal amount right in year in month two making the same payment you're paying a little less interest because you paid off a little bit of the balance you're paying a little more principal and you can see your balance going down so let's first calculate the loan payment on uh, the HP 12c so first thing I want to do is clear the financial information here and just put the information in. Okay, 360 months is N. The interest rate is 0.5, half a percent. And the loan amount, or the mortgage amount, is 200,000. And you hit PMT, and you get the payment of 1199.10. Now, suppose you're interest, interested in how much interest and principal you paid in the first 12 months, so over the first year. So I type in 12, and I hit the function key, the F function key, and above the N it says AMORT, amortization. And you can see that the first number says we paid $11,933.19 in interest. And if I use this R down key, you can see that I paid $2,456.02 in principal. So that first year, you've made you paid quite a bit of money, but almost all of it, almost twelve thousand of it, is interest, and less than twenty five hundred happens to be principal. Now, suppose you're interested in how much interest in principal uh, you pay in the second year. Now, the way the HP works is that if you put in twelve again it does the next 12 months. So if I put in 12 and hit the amortization table, it would not do the first 12, it would do the next 12 months. So let's let's check that out. 12 and the function key and amortization. And you can see that now you've paid $11,781.71 in interest. And if you go down, you've paid $2,607.51 in principal. So you're paying off a little, paying a little less interest, a little more principal because the balance is lower. All right, let me show you another example. Okay, I'm going to do a 15 year mortgage and I'm going to use the same numbers except it'll be 15 years instead of um, 30 years. Now, your intuition would be that, well, gee, if I want to pay off my mortgage twice as fast, I have to make twice as big a payment. And that's actually not the case. The reason is, is that you're paying off the loan faster, so you're paying um, a lot less interest. And so you don't have to double the amount. Remember, we were paying $1,199.10, so essentially $1,200 a month. Now you're paying less than $1,700 a month. Let's see if this is correct. Okay, so. Let me, uh, if I didn't clear my workspace, let me clear it. Okay, so now you have 180 days for um, 15 years. 
Okay, still 200,000. So that's the PV, the interest rate. We'll use the same interest rate of half a percent. Although oftentimes if you get a shorter term mortgage, you'll get actually a little bit lower rate. So this payment would be even smaller. And we calculate the payment and we get what we had here, 1687 and 71 cents. So let's look at the interest. And again, I've worked this out, interest and principal in the first year. Okay, so the first 12 months. So you pay $11,769.23 in interest. And you've paid off $8,483.33 in principal. Remember before, on the 30-year loan, you had only paid $2,400 and something in principal. So you've paid about $6,000 more in principal in that first year. So this this extra, what is that, uh, 400 and a little less than $500, $487 or something like that, $497 that you're paying. Most of it goes to paying off principal. You're paying off the loan much, much faster. So you'll pay off the loan um, at a faster rate. So let me scroll down. Again, let's take a look at uh, year two, right? So the next 12 months. So the same thing, 12 function, and we get that now you're only paying $11,246 in um, interest, and you've paid off more than 9000 in principal in year two. So these first two years, you paid off $17,000 in principal, where on the 30-year mortgage, you would have paid off about $5,000. So... You know, if you're thinking about getting a 30-year loan versus a 15-year loan, um, give it some thought. Give, give some thought to that 15-year loan because you may find that um, your payment isn't that much greater, especially if you get a little bit lower rate, and you'll pay the loan off uh, much faster. But uh, the whole point in this was to show you how to do it on the um, HP calculator. If you want to go back and, and look at the first 12 months, again, you have to reset these numbers. So you have to go back to 180. Um, and put it back in as N, and you have to go back to the loan amount and put that in as PV, and now you get this um, payment again. Actually, let me do this. Let me do one more thing before we uh, wrap up this video. So you type in the 12. We just did this, right? And amortization, right? So I'm back here. You played off 11,769.23. And if you scroll down, you can see um, $8,483.33 in principal. This is the interest amount. If you want to know what your balance is, you hit recall PV. So that has taken the 200000 and subtracted 8483 um, and 33 cents, but it has reset it. So if you want to do the calculation again, you've got to, you've got to set the numbers back. All right, I hope this is helpful. Thank you.